Some of my very best customers used to be the very worst customers. Alrighty then, welcome back and thanks for checking in with me. Nathan here at Lewis Garden Services. Now, I've seen a fair bit of content over the last few months how people, gardeners, have got rid of customers, and that's fine. I totally agree, if you're working for someone that's unbearable, that's just a terrible person, speaks to you in a horrendous manner, get rid of them, never go back to them, that's fine. But there are some customers that I do have now that I used to work for, and for whatever reason, we fell out. Could be a job that they thought I didn't do well, or a miscommunication, and they've come back to me now. Now, every one of these people that I have taken back on have suddenly become the best customer. They're always happy to see you, they'll wait for you to turn up, all those types of things. And I think it's because they've had a bad experience with other people and they've come back to you and they appreciate you. What we've got to remember as gardeners or people offering a service to someone is that's it, we're just there offering a service. We're not there to be their friend really, although some customers do over a period of time become friends. And as a customer to someone offering a service, they've got as much choice to go to someone else to get some work done as we have when we're after stuff or buying stuff or getting someone in. If I turn up one day to cut the lawn and all of a sudden the big hedge has been cut or a border has been removed of shrubs and chippings down, there's no point me kind of going off and one, why didn't you ask me to do it? Or you asked me, can I cut that hedge in the autumn? And I've said, yes, no worries. And then I turn up and it's been done. Maybe they wanted it done. Maybe they did it themselves. Maybe they got a relative who wants to start a gardening company and they've got it done. Maybe someone could knock on the door and they said, yeah, fine. I like that price, cut that hedge. It's no skin off my nose. They might have thought they were doing me a favor. Nath's always busy. He's always moaning about how busy he is. I'll get someone else to cut the hedge. Don't take offense to it. It's real simple. You're often a service, they're a customer. I had it this week. An old fella, we've been going there every four weeks, 30 pounds to stop his garden getting overgrown. Weed color, strimming or mowing a bit of lawn. That's it, once a month. We're not getting the garden to any standard. We're just stopping it going overgrown. And I've tried to explain this to him over the years. However, he likes to moan. He likes to moan more often than he should be moaning. And a few weeks ago, I drove past his property and I said, I'm not stopping there. I can't be dealing with his moaning. Four weeks turned to six weeks. And as I drove past another time, I left him a note to say I wouldn't be able to call to do the garden, sorry, because the time that's allocated for the money that's on the job doesn't give us enough time to get the garden to a tidy state where you're happy. Good luck, thanks, and all that. Along those lines, very nice. He phoned up a couple of weeks later and said, I've struggled to find anyone else to do the garden. Can you please come and do the garden one last time? And being the good natured person that I am, I said, yeah, I'll drop around and get it done as long as you don't moan. And I re-explained the whole situation as in it's 30 pound, blah, 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 blah. We're barely making any money, if anything at all, we're just keeping the garden slashed down. Anyway, we turned up, he came out, happy as Larry. And he said, Nath, you've been coming here six or seven years. He said, you've never put that price up once from 30 pound every four weeks. And now I've had someone else in to quote, I understand what you were saying. Someone else had come in, quote him 300 pound to get the garden back to where it was before we left it eight or nine, nine weeks previous and cut a little bit of hedge, which I normally do at the end of the year for the 30 pound. He came out, like I say, all happy, all smiling. Will you please take 40 pound for the visits instead of the 30, because you've never put it up. And will you come next year? I said, yep, yeah, I'll carry on as long as you don't moan. And then he had a little smile. He said, oh, the thing is, Nathan, he said, I'm 87. I'm a moaning old bugger. And I like, yeah, that's fine. Just don't moan at me. So, um, so yeah, we're back in there. But getting sidetracked, what I'm trying to say is, don't always feel you need to bin a customer off just because they've asked you not to turn up to do one lawn visit or they've got someone else to do it, just take it all on your stride, they're customers and, th and that's it, okay? If you're that busy, as in you can pick and choose, great. But if you've got to keep work coming in, just take it with a pinch of salt, what they say, the real bad ones get rid of, the ones that you just have a misunderstanding with, take them back on and you will find they are often the best customers that you will ever have. Right, that's me done. If you watched it this far, don't get offended. It's not like aimed at don't bin customers off or this person's been in customers off. It's not that, I'm not that type of person. It's just my experience. Some people, you just got to give them chance. Some of those moaning old buggers, they'll really look after you down the line. Right, catch you all later.